Hi, Judah family. I have a question here from Bob about nightmares, and I definitely want to answer his question and give him some assistance. And also we'll insert this in the True You Accelerator course for your Empowering Nightlife segment in case it's of benefit to someone else. Okay, Bob says, lately I've been having some horrific nightmares that wake me up during the night and often keep me awake for the remainder of the night. Tonight was one of those nights. Sometimes I understand what the dreams are about, but I'm never completely sure. They are always in metaphors. Can you to help? Thanks, Bob. All right, so let's talk about nightmares. When you're having pain, distress, or upset in the night, it has one of two sources. It's either something going on in your own emotional life, your, your mental structure, your thought processes, or it's an outside entity. Okay. And so one of the first things you want to ask when you wake up from the night is you want to ask Judah, is this nightmare, this experience coming from inside of me or outside of me? Okay. So if you get the answer that it's coming from outside of you, it's an external source. That means it's some kind of beings or entities or energies in the third and fourth dimension that are coming to disturb you or trouble you, you simply send them away. You say, Judah, please treat all the fields, intruding fields that brought this disturbing dream and send them back to their source with all love and light. I'll say that again so you can nab that. Judah, please tag and treat all intruding fields that caused this nightmare and send them back to the source with love and light. So any field, any energy, any thought, emotion, spirit, demon, whatever you want to call it, any energy that is intruding upon you, you have authority over because you are sovereign over your own being. So if you're if you don't know what the source of the energy or upset or trouble is coming from, the external source, it does not matter. You can simply say, Judah, please treat these intruding fields and send them back to the source. Okay. And there are spirits that love nothing more than just to trouble people in the night. Okay. Then the second possible uh, source are things going on in your own inner being. These are typically um, old memory structures. They're old fears, phobias, uh, repressed emotion. Uh, they can be whole memory structures that ha are like a root system, you know, where, um, you know, a, a tree starts with a seed and then there's a trunk and leaves and branches and roots and all of that. So our memories are like that. One thing might have happened to us when we were young and then all these other memories attach onto that that feel the same, right? And there, and that one original root is still there. So all of that is still living in our subconscious mind. So our subconscious mind can cause all sorts of trouble for us. And remember that 95% of the things going on in your life are coming from your subconscious. Only 5% of your thoughts and feelings come from your conscious mind. And of course, nighttime is the playground of the subconscious, right? <laughs> it's all the kitties playing on the playground and the teacher is taking a nap. <laughs> okay. So if you have repressed pain, fear, trauma, it will tend to surface in your dreams because your subconscious is trying to sort it out and bring you into a state of peace and into a state of enlightenment. Okay. So all of these memory constructs and parts inside of you can be like feral children running amok on the playground, as I said. So your you mentioned they're all in metaphors. Yes, all dreams are in metaphors. Uh, that is how your brain makes sense of things. That's why we use so many metaphors in the teaching of this channel. So you may or may not necessarily need to make sense of all those metaphors, um, if they mean something obvious to you, then it could give you insight for meditation during the day or for issues that you need to address in the subconscious. But if you don't understand them, don't worry about it. In my experience, most of the people that I meet in my dreams 
are not representative of some person that is living on the planet today. The people I encounter in my dreams are, for the most part, parts of me, parts of me, you see. So if you're meeting a terrorized person in a dream, it's likely a part of you that's terrorized, okay? Or you're meeting an angry, let's say, a woman in your dream, and maybe you're even a man, but that woman that's angry in your dream can be a part of you, a feminine part of you that's angry, okay? So the way you begin dealing with that, when you wake up from a bad dream, you say, Judah, please tag and treat all of this, everything that was going on in my dream. Please tag and treat all of it and do a massive change history and everything after that. Please treat the content of the dream. And then Judah, please treat all the emotions I experienced in the dream and do a massive change history and everything after that. Now, I would say that if you continue to have dreams like this, to please reach out, have a session with me, and we absolutely, most certainly can get to the roots of them. These are subconscious roots. These are things in your subconscious that are trying to break out and break free, and they're coming up for a reason. They're coming up to be cleared. So this is your time. This is the time to clear them. And we are here to assist you with that.